Hi winners, this is Mudan Raghavan and this video we are going to see the samplers in J meter which will be the actual unit inside your thread group. What is sampler? Samplers are the actual request that will be sent to the server and these samplers will be added under the thread groups. When you execute the entire JMX file or the performance test, these samplers will be executed based on the thread group configuration such as your number of users and the number of iterations. When it generates the results, by using the listeners we will be seeing the output inside the report. There are different types of samplers are available. Based on the requirement we will be selecting the appropriate sampler. For example, if you are doing the scenario for the web application performance testing, you might be using the HTTP request sampler. But still, by using the same JMeter, we can check a different protocols such as like FTP, JDBC and SMTP. There are a lot of other samplers as well available. For simplicity, we will understand the main one which is the HTTP request sampler in this video. Go to the JMeter. Since we already created the thread group, go to the thread group and right click on the thread group and click on add and there will be a sampler and here you can see all list of samplers that you can create. As we discussed, we are going to create the HTTP request sampler. Once you create the HTTP request something looks like this. In maximum times you will be creating these samplers or samples by using the recorder. However, it's not only the way, even you can create directly by creating the HTTP request option. We will go to the very main basic protocols or let's say main types that we need to update here. For example, the protocol, if it is the HTTPS, you will be mentioning the HTTPS. Otherwise, you can leave it like that. And you can give the server name, the basic URL and port number is not required based on the protocol it will be taking the port number and here it will be the HTTP request if you are recording you don't need to worry about these things but if you are creating by yourself then you should be knowing how to get the type of request for example it can be get post put delete all the API request types then the actual path then remaining things go with the defaults. However, if you are interested, you can go through the documentation about the follow redirects. That means that you are navigating to the URL, that URL itself redirecting to the another page. So if you are interested to go there, then you will be mentioning the follow redirects. Then apart from that, you will be having the different parameters, body data and file upload. These are the things that you will be adding along with your URL. For example, if you are sending some search query let's consider a simple scenario like a google search you might be adding the query string q and chat gpt as the a value that has to be searched basically if you do directly inside your url it will be something looks like that the query parameter will be starting with question mark then q that is the parameter name equal to the value and value will be having the actual string if your value has the space that will be represented with the percentage 20 which is the URL encoding. Since we are not going in detail about the URL encoding and the technical details because maximum times we will record it but I will be sharing this URL and references if you want you can go through it. At the same way if you are getting the request or let's say the type is get then you will not have any body data but if it is something like a post or let's say update or something then you will be having the body data. And coming to the file uploads, let's say in your web page if you are uploading something then you will be having the file upload then you can add the path from which path you need to add the file. It will be little advanced then other things will be something like a client implementation and proxy server if you have something in your organization. So everything will be added here. Don't confuse with the proxy server that we made inside our JMeter just to record this proxy server is something like in your organization if they have the proxy server for security reasons even those things can be configured here. Now other things that goes to the basic again okay? so you have everything ready and you have the HTTP request 
and here you will be mentioning only the path not entire url because you have the base url already here so only the resource path or the path will be mentioned here before going to the actual execution we will try to see what this is so this is a sample website even it can be used or it can be learned for your other functional testing as well just to see all the different types of web elements here for example a b testing so what is a b testing you can understand here and here you can see the entire path that means that here it will be like a slash and then a b test the same way you can have file upload options you can see just to have a testing purpose you can see the drop down options so this ca page can be used for the different reason but for our execution we will be using for just to understand the performance testing just going to the ab testing the same next one will be the google search so when you do the google search for the chat gpt so this value will be sent as a parameter so those parameter has been added here so let's execute and it will be executed two times for each http request so here you can see there will be a two execution for each one the first two one has been passed which is the request for the internet heroku app and second one has been failed why because what is the reason so let's go to the response data and see method not allowed because just to explain we change the method it is something like get method now again go to the results t clear all again execute here you can see all the request has been passed for example for the request it is going to the internet hero dot, dot com and here you can see it's for the google dot com and the response data you can see but now we are not worried about the response it should be the response code and some html content because here we are not doing any functional testing we will be doing only the performance testing by using the other listeners you will be having the different timings for example here you can see the latency for each request and send by its body and size everything but in listeners we have other listeners to understand the overall aggregated result that we will be seeing in the coming lectures so summary of this session so we have seen we will be adding the http request sampler to the thread group and we have understood that there are a lot of other types of samplers also available along with the http request sampler we have chosen the http request because we are working on the web application and we have seen the some basic parameters like number of protocol or let's say the path and the server name and the parameters and we have seen how to see the results after executing the all the request so this is all about this video so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day